Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. It is Wednesday morning. It is going to be 60 degrees today in Chicago. Our friends, Megan and Katie, are visiting us this weekend. They arrive tomorrow. And so today we have some like sprucing up the apartment to do getting the fridge in order getting they're actually gonna stay in our room so like we'll just be in james's room with him um so we have a lot to do to prep um for them to come they would tell us that we don't have to do a thing and they wouldn't care if we cleaned or not um but we just been we've been away peter like yesterday was such a strange day like we just want to get like solid so that we can just enjoy the weekend we are going to do so much fun stuff around the city while they're here um but for breakfast me and jamesy are gonna have this gingerbread tree peter brought us back he brought us back rice krispie treats and cookies um from disney yesterday james has been eating a little bit of real food here and there so hopefully he does not like now he's just been like rejecting food as far as just like he doesn't want it. Like he doesn't have an appetite with some things he will eat. So I hope that he'll enjoy this gingerbread with me. How are you guys doing? Might have broke my toe. <laughs> He's not joking at all. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll I'll let you selfie. Oh, swiper. <sighs> James, this is like just sassy today. <laughs> That's your pretzel now. Short and sweet. I dropped my laptop. It landed on my foot. Potentially crushing my toe. My foot hurts really bad. My toe swelled up, bleeding. Well, just I'm just trying to breathe through the next couple hours and see tonight or tomorrow morning how it feels because I can't fully walk on it. And I'm supposed to run the Dopey Challenge in three weeks. I'm supposed to run 20 miles this Sunday. You're supposed to go to Orange Theory this afternoon. I was supposed to go to Orange Theory right now. But it happened an hour before my class. So, TBD, I guess. I feel like that's you right now. <laughs> Just sucking down Darjeeling. <laughs> so I'm going to cook us some green chef quesadillas for dinner. Um, this is the first one of our four meals that we get weekly that I'm cooking for this week and it's the last day of the week because we'll get a new box today. We did pause coming up because with the holidays and then traveling, we know it's not gonna work. Um, but it's nice that you can pause. So I'm gonna make those. And then we're gonna spend the night getting ready for our visitors. They were supposed to come on Friday, Megan and Katie, but they um, their plans got changed if you've seen them on Instagram. They were invited out to California for an event for the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. Um, they were to better and share a bunch of cool stuff on Instagram. Their plans just changed and now they're coming tomorrow instead. So Peter's got a broken toe so it might be a lot of me <laughs> um, getting us ready but um, not too bad. We actually had the place roost up pretty well before we went to Wisconsin. It's just a matter of like being good hosts and preparing their room. Before I start, I'll give a quick Evie update. She looks really cute with her missing teeth. Oh, are you tired? I don't know, yeah, you can see it. They shaved her so low um, for like the IV and whatnot for the surgery. But that's really like the most noticeable thing. She's really back to herself. Gonna listen to some Christmas music. Ready right here are all the ingredients laid out. Hopefully this means this is going to be a fast one because to be honest I really don't feel like cooking. The picture looks really delicious. This is a vegan option. If you'd like to take a little pause and, and look at the ingredients. And then here are the steps. 
So this is a case where I'm making the refried beans. And again, I'll, I'll stop at each one so you can pause. Um, I think I have refried beans. I might actually just use those instead. Okay, we have some homemade salsa, the veggie filling, which is red peppers, green peppers, and onions. And our refried beans, I might have added something to it that made this not plant-based anymore little thing called sour cream. And here they are. We're also going to have chips and salsa. These look pretty jam-packed. I didn't put the sauce on Peter's because I wasn't sure if he'd like it to be that messy. But we're going to eat in the living room tonight. <laughs> Give me this. James is back. He's feeling so much better. Oh! Ooh! He actually ate dinner tonight. I had to stop because I was worried he was eating too much. Too fast. Mm. But he's feeling so much better. Mm. Thank goodness. That was scary. Okay, really quick before this battery dies. I have to show you. I got a like thank you package from work today from my senior leadership team. This is a cool box that it came in. It had all this stuff in there. But what came in it was this cool thermos. This branded journal and pen. And this cell phone tray holder. How cool. And a little card from our senior leadership thanking us as part of leadership. Thank you so much, Tribal Major. I other cool stuff today. I also did get other cool stuff. This was from my last piece of my secret. No, I actually got my whole secret Santa. Okay. This is part from my secret Santa gift. I'm going to switch to my cell phone because it's about to die. So this is my secret Santa gift. So look at this, like, metal, like, campy feeling mug of Mickey. A bunch of different color Mickeys with Joffrey's. Can't wait to brew that in the morning. Classic Mickey blend. And a Mr. Coffee mug warmer, which... I'm nervous, but I'm gonna be optimistic when I try it. But those things kind of weird me out because I know I'm nervous that it's just gonna like roast, like burn the flavor if my coffee sits there too long. I also got these cute salad plates. Look at Donald, Chip and Dale. They're salad plates, yeah. Goofy, I've never seen this style before ever. They're from the Disney store. My friend bought them for me for my birthday. That's the Minnie Mouse. Sarah really loved the Minnie Mouse, how she was making a snow angel. And Mickey. Um, so I kind of had a nice day of gifts. Like I, I, got, I got to go to Disney World yesterday. Yeah. Have a Christmas party with my team. I got this book that I already started. Got my plates. Got this Broke surprise. Got the surprise thing. Uh, like appreciation box from work. I saw it and I saw like the reference of like travel and leisure. And I was like, I've never gotten a box from them, but it's like from my department in my company. So it's not like. Every, it's not like everybody in the company got it, like my, my department's leadership. Department? Division? I don't know. And then I got my, my Secret Santa gift as well. So considering that I, I, I may have broken my toe, um, we got some wins and we got one loss. So now we have to clean. So I don't know if that's a win or a loss. Our friends are coming. That's a win. Yeah. And I think James is mad because we muted the TV so I could film this section and... Uh, he doesn't understand why he can't hear the Grinch. It was a really warm day, and I didn't even go outside. It was 60 degrees out. It was 64. Oh, I did go. I went on a walk earlier. It was 64 when I threw the garbage out after nightfall. That's no good in Ten December. days before sh Christmas in Chicago. It's kind of weird. Yeah, but I'm happy that the girls are coming a little bit earlier, so that because tomorrow's going to be warm, too. But then the weekend, I'll be back to normal. We almost accomplished everything on our to-do list. Mm. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. All right, so some of my birthday presents came. I think Sarah's starting the vlog. She's picking up our friends. I couldn't come because I had a busy day of meetings. I had two days in a row, I was like back to back to back to back to back. But like, I love it. Um, so I got some Amazon gift cards and I didn't know what to buy at first for my birthday. Um, so I got one of these. It's an Anchor um, MagSafe charging pack. So like, this will charge my phone. Weirdly enough, it's not working on my phone right now. But also, like, the MagSafe charger that we got for Sarah's phone doesn't. Um, ultimately, let's be honest. This pack is probably going to be used on Sarah's phone more than mine when we're down in Florida or just playing around because her phone always dies. 
Um, so I'm charging that now. That's cool. Another thing I got was a new microphone finally for our M50. So this is the Rode. It's the first Rode mic we've ever had. It's like a pretty standard, very good quality microphone. We just, we just always have gone for like the $15 Amazon, like generic microphones. But I thought, hey, why not try this? We've got a two year warranty. Um, so we will see. I'm gonna bring this with me because Sarah's got the M50. So I just need to get myself ready. I need to tidy up a couple things because we've got our guest staying with us. So we just cleaned the, some sheets. I have to make the bed, I think. And then I'm gonna hit the road to head over to the bus stop to go over to Montverde, the most delicious Italian restaurant in all of Chicago. Oops, I was wrong. Sarah did not intro. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here at We Daily Vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Look at my beautiful city. I love it. Look at who I picked up from the airport. Peter said Sarah will probably intro, and I did not. <laughs> I have been going, going, going all day. So we are here. We're going to relax. Eat these breadsticks. They're very good. I've already eaten one. Yeah. And Daisy's enjoying one too. He got a whole cup of markers over there. And a nice Monteverde coloring sheet. Peter should be here any minute. So we are at Monteverde where Bill Rosenthal goes on Somebody Feed Bill. And we loved it the first time we came here. So you might have seen this venue before. But if you're interested, take a pause to see it all. And then drink. And to start, I ordered a Saba soda and Peter a lemon drop martini. And then two orders of the burrata e ham. Alright, busy, busy day. Early like kind of weekend fun with the peaches just coming in a day earlier than we first suspected. Um, we gotta hang out in the West Loop Fulton Market area a lot more. Um, We've only been here a few times, and I think the last time we were here, we went to Montverde. But there's a lot more to do in this area when it comes to food, entertainment, and just like liveliness. I feel like this could be an option for us to move to in 2023, which is like we're going to stay in our apartment another year, like we said before. Um, but it's just like, are we going to buy something in Florida? Are we going to buy something here? Are we going to buy something in both? Who knows? You guys don't. I don't even. But... I gotta figure it out with Sarah. But I think this, I have to, I don't know the pricing over here. I think it's very expensive because it's like a lot of renovated new build area things. Look, I'm at Chase. This is where I'm stopping. Montverde, right on the corner there. I finally made it. Only uh, 20 minutes past our reservation, but I think Sarah, Meg and Katie and James have been here for like 15 minutes. I think they got food ordered already. Oops, sorry. There you go. Guess who just have to come with us? You can't come to Montverde and not What is this even called? The burrata e ham. You, you sound like you may have just like. Have you ever seen somebody be filmed? I literally just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. Are you ready? You were too little to eat any of this last time. He was. He's like, give me some of it. This is the pasta. Well, we're like sharing everything, but this is mine and Peter's pasta. What is it called again? Cacio e pepe. And it's like simple pepper and parmesan cheese. And it smells so. This one yummy. said that they had they were put ricotta in it, which is different. But that sounds good. What are you doing over here? Next pasta, it's tortellini, and it's getting up squash, right? Just said winter squash. Winter squash. I want to see your reaction. Here's your tortellini. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> that good? Yeah. That's really good. Okay, and last time, we did not get this, because it was just Peter Ed. Oh my gosh, and this is... My, like, Hall of Notes just started playing, which is like my dad's song, and this is my mom in a dish. So they're just here. All right, we're kind of in a rush. It's 6.23. We just paid. Got all set. Look at that. I got somebody in the, my, in the backpack. Hey. Um, did you like it? Thumbs up? It was awesome. We're going to watch a Nutcracker. We'll see how James is during this, but we specifically ordered uh, aisle seats so we can duck out 
I've yes. never seen it. Neither have I actually. Really? We're, we're I thought I was alone. I think Sarah's seen it. I haven't. Um, but we're going to Southport. So we actually have a bit of a drive with the time to get back up to the show in 35 minutes. We got this. We do. I like your support. <laughs> Where's... Did we just leave Megan in there? Yeah, let's just go ourselves. Perfect. With five minutes to spare, we have made it to Athenium Theater. We are here to see the Nutcracker. Only one of us is at Megan's, the only one who's actually seen it before. We barely made it, but we made it. We made it. We gotta see the Nutcracker. There's other little kids are here. You Love ready? it. He sees oh, the other little kids. <laughs> here we go. The Nutcracker. Face mask required. Let's do it. Hello. Oh my god. And here we look at they got nutcrackers for sale. It's a small theater, but I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna grab some drinks and snacks and make a bottle for James to appease him as we get started. There, I'll show you that intermission. So cool. Just like my apartment. Here we are. This is a cool little theater. Exciting. Yeah. Trying to show Jamesy the nutcrackers. Ooh. You like it? Look at all these. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're sparkly. We are in intermission right now, and so far it is so good. And Jamesy's doing so good too. First ballet. What do you think? He loved it. Yeah. He did a good job. He did. Did you guys like it? I loved it. Megan has gone her whole life, so she's like an aficionado. It was very good. Yeah. Very, very good. And he was good. He was getting restless in the it was last just number. So like classic. Yeah. We are back home with our friends. Woo how's this uh, how's this new mic working out since since dinner on? Hopefully good. TPD. Hopefully all the audio is there. Oh gosh. James? Both, both James and Eve are like, these people are going to stay here? Right, they're both kind of like, what's going on? We're bunking in James's room. Yeah, yeah. And Megan and Katie are taking our room. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Eve will come with us. I have to like organize that room. Yeah, the girls have been in California this morning, and they had a layover, so like they're super tired. I could see us just the, crashing. Yeah, but you need to edit the vlog potentially tonight. Yes. But I need to organize our James's room because it's been like Christmas storage express and it's kind of a hot mess. Like this is typically out there where the tree is, but we put it in here, which is great, but the bed can't pull out into a queen with that there. So I have to like hide that somewhere over here and then there's like all of the stuff. Christmas gifts and everything. I am still in terrible shape for Christmas shopping for James and Sarah. So. I need to do that at some point, like this weekend. Since we had a Phil inspired dinner, we're watching the Phil really London episode because. I the love Peter's London. clan has been to London. We have. And I haven't. I'm sorry. Sarah hasn't. We're all gonna have our passports because of Squamish. So maybe next year. But we are doing tea service this weekend. Yes. So we're looking at. You're looking at the menu? Yeah. You're looking at the menu? And look at the stupid the best thing on the menu. Oh. Traditional scones with lemon curd, raspberry preserves, and Devonshire cream. I'm gonna eat so many. On Sunday? Yeah. It's a slumber party. Sarah and James are laying down. They're snuggling. James having a bottle. Eve's getting comfy. The Petruses are going to bed. We're going to bed. We had a long day. We had a long day. Tomorrow's still Friday. I have work. But they're gonna go play during the day. Chill. Uh, with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>